this was one of the, um, the difficulties always that people really took exception to the fact that we were breaking all these social rules by, uh, by doing this, by doing this work. So when we were finally arrested, there were police files on us, and the police files consisted of a large clump of documents of where we had entertained blacks and they'd raided us and so on and so forth, and how there were definitely orgies going on, and apart from the, uh, the political work. So what it was like for me, actually it was exciting in many ways, because South Africa at that stage was in opposition, or, or my crowd was in opposition. And you moved in a supportive, close, close and closed in a way circle. And you felt that you were doing something worthwhile in all the activities that you were, uh, it, that I'm speaking for all of us and we were all involved in. So it was exciting, challenging, and at times it could be nerve wracking. So it was all those things. And I always had to balance the fact that I had four kids against the activities that, that I got into. I mean, for example, I was doing a lot of work in Alexandra Township and I used to go in at night. I used to run study groups there, telling them about the true history of South Africa. These were mostly ANC members and, you know, a single woman at night wandering around Alexandra Township. I had a puncture one night, you know, and someone materialised out of the fog and said, you shouldn't be here, but I'll help you put your spare wheel on, which he did. And I came home and um, another time I had a brick heaved at me, which, thank God, just missed me and hit the car. So, yes, I mean, there, there were moments 